Hi everyone, now we will talk about components in Laravel. So first we will discuss what is component, how we can make components, how we can use and reuse them, how we can pass data to the components. We will see some examples for component and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. Alright, so now let's uh, move to the first question, what is component? See, simply components are a piece of code that can be reused in our project. Right, for example, if one of you, uh, the feature of your application is used on the multiple places. Right, maybe the same feature is getting used on home page, about us page, login, sign up, logout on the multiple pages. Right, so what you can do to instead writing the same code again and again, you can make a component of that code and you can reuse it again and again. All right, and if you want to just understand it better, you can compare it with the functions also. Right, so what we are doing with the functions, we are writing one function once and then we can use it again and again right so uh, but there is a difference between function and component like function is a feature of uh, core programming like uh, php language has a function but component is not a feature of programming language this is a feature of frameworks so if you just go with the uh, angular or view or maybe with the react so each of these libraries and component has uh, uh, libraries and framework has the component feature so this is actually belongs to the components and library, not to the core programming language. And the second difference is whenever we are writing a function, so there we are putting only the core programming language code. So let's say if you are creating a function that that time we are just writing the code only for PHP. But whenever we are writing a component, we can put there uh, HTML, CSS, JSS, PHP oh, for the uh, all language of code, right? And keep in mind component can be used in the same file as well as the different file also whenever you are creating a component. So simply you can say that if we are making a component in our, our project we can use it anywhere. So let me give you some example then we will implement the same example. So whenever we are making some forms right and after the submitting these forms sometimes we are getting error message sometimes we are getting success message. For example if you are uh, adding new product or adding new user or you are signing up that time after a, a successfully submission you will get a message like your user is successfully added product is successfully added or user successfully uh, signed up something like this right and if there is er any error then we just uh, get an error message like uh, a user is not added try after some time password is not correct try after some time server is down try after some time right so these are the banner messages right so instead so let's say you have uh, multiple multiple forms in your uh, project and instead creating that message banner for each of the form what you can do you can create a common uh, banner for all of these uh, forms right and for that we can write a component how we can do that let's understand it so now you can see that that we have a home page there and i am creating so let me just clear this thing and i'm creating one uh, component so for that you just need to write a uh, one uh, php artisan command php artisan make colon and then we can simply put component like this and then your components name so let's say our component name is message banner right and hit enter so whenever you will create a component two file will be getting created first one inside your app so there you will find a view folder and then message banner.php so there you can write any php logic and inside the view inside the resource folder there is a, another folder which is views and then one more folder will be created which is components inside this you will find a view file which is message banner.blade.php inside this you can write your blade and html code right so now the thing is how we can use it so let me create a span tag there and inside this i'm just writing this uh this is a component right so i'm just writing this message and if you want to use it what you need to do simply um what you can do let me just write it on the top you can simply put the x then message banner and then you can close it like this and that's all so now let's try to use it let's see is it visible or not yeah one more thing we have to start our php server again which i forget to start 
so this me right let's write there php artisan serve and now you can see that we are able to get the code from the uh, output from the component right so yeah but uh, this is a very simple component if you want to uh, just make it uh, some more things with it that is also possible so if you want to use it in the some other component that that is also possible so i have one more page which is about.blade.php so what you can do you can paste it there and now let me just open this page uh, parallelly user about and this is uh, visible on the both of these pages right so now how we can make it dynamic so let's say this is a message banner and i want to uh, pass some dynamic data from there for example from there i want to pass uh, one message and the message will be uh, let's say user added successfully like this right and in the same time from the about i want to send some other message so let's say uh, user sign up has been done or something right like, like this you can write any message i just put some random text there so now if i just see still this is the static component how we can just show this text there right so for that what you need to do first you have to go to the uh, your uh, app and component file which is message banner.php and there you can define a property so let me put a one pro uh, public property there public then msg and after that you can put semicolon and you will get this message thing this message thing inside the construct constructor so just put their msg and now just store this uh message to the message property like this dollar message like this right and now you have this message in your constructor and if you want to use this uh in your uh banner message banner dot blade dot php you can simply use like this dollar msg and let's see the output now user added successfully and now what you are getting there okay so there we are getting some error why i think just need to restart sometime this is due to cache or something i sh i think it should work fine no let me see why this is not working message banner seems everything is fine yeah this is working fine this is just a cache issue right okay so uh, now the thing is this is just a simple message even if you still want we can uh, just simply display that thing on the home page or uh, about page also so can we just do some more modification yes definitely we can do so with the message you can pass the style also so let me add some style there and i'm just making some classes let's say dot success and inside this uh, let me pass this success class there right so class right but how we can use this class again you have to go to the this uh, uh, message banner file and there again take one more property which is class and now get this class property from construct pass it to the this class property and now you can simply use this class is message banner so if you just put their class double curly braces and you can put your class like this dollar class right and now if you will just see and check are we getting this class here we go the success class is there so let me add just some style there let's say background color green light or something light green color let's say green then padding can be 3 pixel and 10 pixel 
margin 10 pixel display inline block border radius we can also add border radius let's say 2 pixel right so this is uh, something look like a message banner so let me add this style to the home page like this and similarly so now you can see that this is perfectly working okay so this class is not added or something okay so we don't need to just use this some uh, columns right see this is working fine so if again i have one more message like uh, maybe i just after some time like user log out successfully right and this is still working fine so but now let's say i want to show one error message also with the same you can see that color is let's say red and let me get there some green red color light red color for background that will work for me right yeah and now uh, let's say i'm just creating one more error message the class will be error there and the message will be uh, no user found or something right like this so now if you just see you can see this is the red message right so this is like a error so now uh, we can just pass a style and this banner will convert uh, a error message success message both and similarly we can create one more thing if you want you can create a message warning also creating warning and for warning let me just add some orange color let me make it little bit lighter orange like this right so let me add these two colors there and let me create one warning message also uh, for warning message some users are missing right something like this and there i'm putting warning message and now you can see that we are getting warning message like this right and similarly because still we don't have this uh, style in the common place so if you want to put this style in a common place what you can do uh, you can just write a common file but for now i am just want to display you style like this only so if you want to just open the about then still i don't know why this is causing cause okay the thing is we have to pass the class also so let's say class so now we are getting their green thing right and similarly if we can if you want to create error or warning then this is still possible so i'm putting there user no product found or there we can say that server is down or something right So again we have these three messages so now you can see that how we can make one component and we can use it for the different different type of the banner messages and all right so i think this is a perfect one example for component if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video guys and this is my paytm number for, for donation